Hey everybody, once again, it's Thursday. It's, it's uh, the day after comic book day, which means we got some new comic books to talk about. Uh, my name is Scott, this is Comic Book Hangover, my lovely little corner of YouTube. So we're just gonna kind of jump into it. See, I, got a lot of, I got some uh, uh, some different stuff, some uh, new comic book day stuff, some Walmart buys that I, pick, that, I, that I picked up, and some other stuff I wanna talk about. But first and foremost, here we're at the, uh, at the end of the month. At the end of the month, this comes out. This is Previews Catalog. This gives you everything you need to know about what's coming out. The, everything in this book, this magazine, is coming out in April. You can also get a DC Previews and a Marvel Previews. And these will tell you, again, everything that's coming out in the month of April. If your local comic shop gets these magazines and these catalogs, they are definitely something worth picking up, going through them, and letting your LCS know exactly what you're interested in getting. It helps them with their ordering. And it, it also helps to ensure that you're getting the books that you want to get because you're ordering them ahead of time. So it's it's a very handy tool, th uh, very handy tool to have. Do recommend using them. I use it a lot. Actually, I go through those catalogs way more than I should, probably should. So um, moving on, that little PSA aside, I picked up some stuff from Walmart a little while back. As you know, they're doing these 100-page uh, giants for DC. Found this one, 100 Page Giants Ghosts. Just love the cover. Now these are 100 pages. There's a, a, it's a mixture of new stuff and classic stuff. So you're getting some reprints, you're getting some new material, but only for $4.99, so it's a really good deal. Some of these have actually become worth something, which is kind of a surprise to me since they're, you know, just like store books. You know, they're just, there's really not much to them. But um, I'll, if I find one I like the cover, I'm gonna pick it up because that's the way I do things. So setting that aside, also, Marvel has been doing these three packs for uh, some of their books, and I picked up a couple, and, um, mainly because I like the covers. Amazing Spider-Man number 33. This is towards the beginning of the whole 2099 storyline. That was really kind of a useless storyline, but it was nice to see some of those old characters again. So I grabbed this, and I think these are the ones that came with it. There's um, Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars. It's a Secret Wars sequel. Number five action figure variant with Falcon. And this uh, headache inducing Avengers 672. This was the uh, lenticular covers that they did where they tried to, where they uh, took a, a, a classic cover and sort of imposed it on a current cover with modern day artists. So it's more of a headache inducing thing than anything else. The other pack I picked up, I got because I, I am reading this series of Amazing Spider Man uh, Alien Reality. This is the uh, uh, Bagley variant. I love this cover, so I had to grab that. And that one came with Secret Wars issue four variants, whatever this is. <laughs> I actually started reading that, that Secret Wars story and got so bored with it, I dropped it partway through. And then I got this Howard the Duck number one variant cover as well. So um, probably not gonna keep that. May not keep a lot of these because I, that, they're just not really too keen on what they're doing with Howard lately. Uh, for Christmas, my little boy, and this is important, my Christmas, uh, for Christmas, my little boy got this Spider-Man bathroom set. Came with, what, shampoo and, and body wash, a bubble bath, that sort of stuff. It also came with a free comic book. He didn't really want it, so this is it. Um, it's a Suave Kids Spidey number one variant cover. Um, not so much of a variant. I think this is actually the original cover. They just put, they just took the uh, usual... Uh, cover dre uh, dress off of it, put the Suave Kids logo on there, and there you go, you have that. So those were the Walmart buys they had this this uh, week. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what else can we do? Here, back issue that I picked up. I'm loving these. I, I, this series, and there's really not much to it, Marvel Age, but I got Marvel Age number 82. It's uh, Squadron Supreme, talking about their graphic novel. I just like picking these up. Uh, this one, though, I heard that there is um, uh, sort of a preview for uh, Rob Liefeld's characters coming out. Uh, one of them being Strife, another one being Cable. So, for those of you who are saying previews count as first appearances, which they really don't, but if you're one of those people, more power to you. But this may be a book that you want to check out because there is sort of a preview of Cable and Strife in this issue. Again, Marvel Age, number issue, eight, uh, issue number 82. So it's, it's, it's not that expensive of a book. So definitely something that would be easy to get. So moving on to new stuff, stuff that I picked up this week. Uh, we're going to start with the, with the reprints. 
because I got a couple of true believers. Got uh, Absorbing Man, which, uh, see, this is um, Journey to the Mystery number 114 is what this reprints. This is one of those covers that I've always loved. So uh, aside from the fact that they changed the logo and everything, the art is there, the art is intact, and that, when it comes onto it, that's what's more, most important to me. So I'm really glad they have this cover because uh, I may never get the original. So the other one I picked up is a reprint of, of uh, Black Panther number 14. So I believe the first appearance of Claw. Not really a character they had that much interest in, but again, it's a classic Marvel cover. I love these older covers. And Marvel does. And Marvel used to do some great covers back in the day. I mean, they, they do still have some great covers, but back in these days, there was more hits than misses with their covers. I also grabbed, and I, did this come out this week or last week? I don't remember, because it's got so many of these books coming out now. Amazing Spider-Man number 347 facsimile edition. I do have the original, but it is nice to have a facsimile edition in case uh, I, I, you know, if, if I get an offer for my original or if I you know, decide to sell it off, I, I still have at least a version of it, so I'm, I'm happy with that. DC Dollar Comics, Detective Comics number 554. This is uh, first appearance of Black Canary, or this version of Black Canary. I don't follow DC too much, so I, I couldn't tell you, honestly, if this is the original Black Canary, or if there's a new version of her, or whatever. But it's a nice cover. Another really, really nice cover. Just And this one I will be reading when I get a chance. So I got those. For the new books I picked up this week, there's actually a couple of, of really, really good books. I, I didn't get that many. Looks like I only got five new issues. But there were some really good, really good books in, in the few that I picked up. Uh, got Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham number two. This is not one of the books I'm talking about. It's a great, fun story. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm really kind of interested in what they're doing with the character. They've kind of changed him up a little bit. But uh, it's not. it wasn't definitely one of my top reads for this week. The top reads that I had for this week, actually... Uh, let's do this one first uh, before we get into that. Vampironica New Blood number two. This came out last week and somehow I missed it. But I was down with my my LCS. I saw it. I snatched it, and honestly, I I cannot believe I'm still enjoying this character and this idea. I'm not a vampire fan. I'm not really an Archie comics reader, but this is a lot of fun. And through this, I'm still on the hunt for the uh, Jughead, the Hunger trades, because those are when they did that crossover. I really started to enjoy that character as well. So it's it's weird, and it's what I say all the time. Try something new. Try something different. You never know. You might find something that you really, really like. Never would I have thought I would be able to get into that sort of a book, but I did. So the three books that I got that, had, that were actually really solid reads this week from Marvel Comics, Thor number two. It, it it's really starting to set up something really interesting, and and it's kind of neat. To, it's kind of interesting to see uh, Galactus take on actual physical injury and sort of. Showing that when he's at his weakest in between in between feedings or when he's expelled a lot of energy, he can be physically damaged, and it it doesn't really seem to cause him that much pain because he still functions, but his physical form can be broken down. So um, I'm not really a big fan of Donny Cates, but he is doing an amazing job on Thor, and and uh, the the reveal at the end of this issue. I don't really want to say who it is. I'm really not that big in the spoilers, but the reveal at the end of this issue has me set solid for the next issue because it's one of, he, he's bringing in one of my favorite Thor characters, aside from Lady Sif. Boom Studios, Something is Killing the Children, number five. The series, we're only five issues in, which you know there's really not a lot of history to go on with this book, but this book surprises me every issue. This is such an amazing and just... It's an intriguing series. We're starting. We're, we're kind of in the process of learning more about this lovely little lady here. But it's man, I, I I don't even really know how to describe it. It's just if if you're looking for something different, and yeah, this is about monsters that kill children. So if that sort of thing bothers you, this is definitely not going to be your book. But if you're willing to accept that as part of the, of this book's reality, and also that there is a uh, sort of a cabal of, of individuals who Apparently, it's their job to go out and find these monsters and and kill them and, and protect children with rather violent methods. Then it's definitely a book to check out. I figured that with this one here, I'm I was probably only going to read like the first two or three issues. Here are five issues in. It's on my pull list. I'm sticking with it for the time being. And I mean, you got a got a pretty pretty solid name there right in the book. 
right there. If you're reading this one, you got to check out his Batman. His Batman is really awesome as well. And if you're reading Batman and you like his writing on there, check this book out. It's a really good horror series. Just amazing. And they're, they're actually setting up something really, really awesome for the next issue or two where one of the monsters, actually this monster here that she's fighting, wasn't... It, it wasn't... Um, it was in a cave, and it was hoarding bodies of children. It wasn't eating them all. And the reason why I was doing that, as I explained in here, this is just a light spoiler, is it was it was a nest. So this wasn't the only one. This was a this was a mother, and it had offspring. And now they have to try to find the offspring. And I have an, I have an idea of where one of the offspring is. But man, awesome read. It's definitely it's definitely a top of the stack book for me for every week that it comes out. So as as far as like. Going away from Marvel and DC, Something is Killing the Children from Boom Studios is definitely a book to check out. Also from Boom Studios, and surprisingly, one of the one of the more solid reads that doesn't really push the necessary evil storyline forward, but this issue of Go Go Power Rangers, what are we on, issue 28, this is a really, it focuses on Rita and her, her minions for a, a little bit, but mostly focuses on Rita because she's been captured, and... She is um, being rehabilitated. They're trying to rehabilitate her. And the way they're doing it is by making her live through the lives of the people that she killed through the years that they know that she killed. So it's it's a really interesting character study on what 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 is going on in her head, who she actually is, because they really haven't set up too much about her, really. So this... This was actually probably out of all the issues of Power Rangers that I've read, and I've, I've been reading all the Mighty Morphin on and off with Go Go Power Rangers. But this this is probably the most solid issue that I've read of of the entire Power Rangers run from Boom Studios. It's definitely setting the bar pretty high, but it is it is a it is definitely a really really solid read. If you're if you're reading Mighty Morphin, you're kind of skipping over Go Go. At least pick up this issue, Gogo Power Rangers number twenty-eight, because you, you will not regret it. I promise you that. Um, so before we go to the wall, I'm sure you've noticed these lovely little things here. So what these are, um, I'm I'm in a in a Facebook group called I Love Comic Book Stuff, and they were doing sort of a raffle giveaway for people who were uh, really um, active in the group, and the, the whole thing was number based. So you pick a number. Um, if, if your number is chosen, you get to move the round two, and then, you know, if your number is chosen, then you win some lovely prizes. Well, my four-year-old Torin, I had him pick the numbers, and the, he, he picked the first number correctly, so I was like, hey, pick a second number between one and 20. He says 20. I'm like, not the number I would have picked, but fine. You get to pick the number. You pick number 20, so I passed number 20 on. That ended up being the first number that was drawn, so I got these pieces here by artist Jeff I'm probably going to mispronounce your name dude I'm so sorry if I do Jeff Talese and I will um, link to his Facebook page in the description of this video here if you want to check out some of other stuff that he's done but we got a Raphael uh, a Ninja Turtles really awesome and I don't know if I could take this other one down without knocking everything down but we've also got Leonardo and these are amazing these are amazing pieces also I got with those this Ninja Turtles Universe Number One. This is a sketch cover that he has done pencil sketch on, and just you know did some graffiti on the wall. But that I just get this as close as I can without it being out of focus. Uh, but this this is amazing. Look at this piece of art here. This is awesome. Definitely not a book that I'm going to read, but definitely a cover that. My God, this 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 right here is not going to be in this bag with this board for long. I know CBCS does this thing where they can encapsulate um, prints and sketch covers. They don't get a grade because it's really not necessary to grade sketch covers, but this cover here is definitely going to be going to CBCS to get their art print uh, grading or, or uh, art print uh, designation, if you will, because that's amazing. It, it needs to be in something far more deserving than just a mere bag and board so that'd be sent off um now that's that's all i've got for for this part of the video so we're gonna go, i'm gonna go ahead and set up the wall and we will check out and see what the wall looks like this week so um click 
how about we do I don't want to cover these up so I want, I'm gonna to try to have it up here just so that it doesn't cover up these lovely little pieces here so somewhere in this area here there should be a box that you can click with your little or you, if you're on a tablet or something you just tap it with your with your finger click on that and that'll take you to the video where my wall will be on full display so we'll see you soon